Ready? Ready? Okay. If you could just say and spell your first and last name. Joe Stover, S-T-O-V-E-R. Okay. Traditional J-O. J-O-E. You yes. just go by Joe? Just go by Joe. Okay. And then you, um, your unit. I'm uh, the Sergeant Major for the G3 operations at Joint Force Headquarters. Okay. And what's your um, role here at Plains Warrior? I'm actually the uh, NCOIC of the Plains Warrior, uh, the Operations Sergeant Major also. Uh, develop the training and uh, ensure the training for the soldiers is complete. Okay. Well, we start out looking at what type of training these soldiers need to be uh, PME qualified. So uh, we uh, review the BLC courses and what courses the soldiers have the highest fail rate. And we incorporated those trainings into this program here. Uh, land navigation, uh, uh, academics, the uh, Cat TAF, basic soldier skills. So that's what we focused in for these soldiers. Some of these are lost skills that soldiers don't get to, to see. Uh, a lot of these soldiers have different MOSs, come from different backgrounds. So it's been a long time since they've actually focused on these type of soldier skills. Okay. So far, the training's going outstanding. The morale of the soldiers is very high. At, this wasn't what they expected when they got here. They thought it was going to be mostly physical fitness training, and it's not. We do physical fitness every day, all day long, starting PT in the morning, PT in the afternoon, but through the day, the soldiers are constantly moving, road marching, working on basic soldier skills, and again, it's field craft that they've never been used to or haven't seen in, in many years. Okay. Now, We're looking at is a basic leadership development course to prepare these soldiers for BLC and ALC uh, classes to benefit their education and further their military career. Well, we actually have a high rate of NCOs that are not PME qualified for their uh, military education. Uh, along with other states, we're trying to implement some of the same type of programs. That's how this program came about. And with this program, we hope to uh, lower our numbers, have soldiers better prepared to go to NCOS courses, and be PME qualified. Okay, perfect. Now, do you know yet? We hope so. Everything's been kind of positive, and that's one of the things that we'll decide at, at the command level. Okay. Um... Yes. The, the, we're in the middle of the assessments now, we still, when the soldiers go back to their units, they'll do a, a 30, 60, and 90 day assessment to see if they continue on with this, the material we gave them, the education we, we train them, if they continue on with their goals. Uh, if they are successful with that, I believe this, this will be a, a yearly trip of program, and that's what we hope. I, I think it also helps the soldiers that uh, are preparing for mobilization. Uh, again, we're back to field craft, soldier skills that are sometimes lost or not used in certain MOSs, and that's what we focus on. Okay. So, these basic things. Yes, yeah, we look at the warrior tasks, uh, especially the, the fail rate of BLC and ALC that soldiers have trouble with. Those are the warrior tasks that we focus on, but again, um, we are trying to instill that, hey, you're a soldier. No matter what happens, you're a soldier. So the certain skills you have to have at all times, no matter what your MOS is, and those are the type of skills in our warrior tasks that we're focusing on today.